assalam alaikum let's make a portrait the person i'm painting today is a writer and uh, she did a live sitting for sky arts program uh, sky tv's program portrait portrait artist of the week they do it every sunday so first off i um put in the basic measurements for the face and um her glasses where her nose sits and um the jaw the dent of her lips and uh, mind you before i did this i did take some measurements and i keep taking measurements as i go along i add the darkest bits first because uh, they always bring out the highlights forward um the um, glasses on her face i feel are uh, besides her hair they're the darkest bit so as i go along i do the hair and the glasses and um all the dark areas so to do hair i always say that treat them as chunks rather than uh sketching every strand you need to just look at them in in terms of uh shadow and light do a bit of the forehead put in some of the um eye socket area and uh, a bit of the nose a bit of the glasses the dark rims and um, the the face is already taking shape now her face is quite animated even in this screenshot you can see that there is a smile forming and you can see her kind eyes and um, the best way to just uh, put that into your sketch or your painting is to understand um the darks and the lights and just use very soft strokes and keep building um when you're building then what happens is that you are gradually layering and if there are bits and pieces that you don't like you can always erase them like for instance over here i am erasing areas where i feel that there is more light and then i'm going to take some watercolor brushes and just go over the sketch with with a bit of watercolor so you know just darkening the dark dark darkest darks <laughs> and uh, um erasing the light the lightest light so over here i've erased the eyes and uh, because i'm going to paint them with watercolor and i'm adding a bit of ochre color uh, brownish color where the shadows are and then just adding a bit of water to the same color i've um, spread it across her face leaving the highlights as white i want the paper to show through and um add in the hair as you add the hair in you can already see resemblance let's do the eyebrows and the eye socket and um, before you know it you a person would appear on this page yeah there you go So let's add the eyes in pupil. When you're making the pupil, just be mindful of where the highlight is, where that one dot is, because if you um, add the highlight at the right spot, then you get the right expression. Otherwise, um, the whole portrait can go wrong. So the eye that is. Um, towards the light area i add more detail to it and uh, the other eye i feel is a bit under the shadow and there's a glare from her glasses as well so this eye has more detail and then let's address her prominent chin the jawline I don't want to add too many strokes to the face because there's a certain 
um, delicacy to her face and I want to retain it. If I add in more strokes, then the strokes will age her. I'm using an inter interesting brush over here. Uh, this is my go-to brush when I'm traveling um, because it can contain water. So you don't have to carry extra water with you. Okay, so now I've taken a 9B pencil and I am just um, adding chunks of her hair with just diagonal strokes. And the way I'm holding my pencil, I can increase the pressure or decrease it. So as I go along, I leave some, um, some light area for the hair. For the face, I tried a graphite pencil because I just wanted a very light pressure, very light um, shadow on the face. And then I'm going to just smudge it so that it becomes even more soft. Always keep the background in mind. So just a little bit of that, um, you know, dark area behind her shoulder really brought out her shoulder. So once I've smudged areas around her chin and her nose, I'm going to um, take an eraser and uh, delete, erase the uh, highlights. Her lips are very slim. So I again don't want to add in too much detail around her lip area and leave it as an indentation. The shadow side of the face um, I'm adding more depth. She has a very prominent jawline. Okay, again, chunks of her hair. They are in ringlet, so I'm leaving the edges quite rough. A bit of red color in her hairband. Now just with a wet brush, I'm smudging the um, charcoal of the pencil. Highlight on the nose, a bit of more detail around the nostril area. Like I said, just keep layering. So as we're layering, like the nose and then the glasses and then the eyebrows so you can see that the face is uh, there is a clarity to all the features on the face So eyes in a portrait are very important. They communicate so much more about the person than just eyes. Like you can literally look into somebody's soul through those eyes, through those pupils. There you go. This is my final piece and I hope you enjoyed it and you are going to make your own portrait. See you next time. Bye bye.